Hi guys, welcome back to another Dead Windy Walk. Today we're visiting St Baglan's Church in uh, Clan Faglan in Carmarthenshire, North Wales. And we're on the hunt for the apparent pirate grave. This time I've brought my elite hound dog Kevin along with me to help me uh, assist with the search. I'll just put Kevin back in the car. I think he's a bit tired from uh, running around on the beach before. The original entrance there dated 1722. I don't know what it is with planes always being in my videos. I'm in the middle of nowhere as well. Here we are, St Baglan's Church, North Wales. Now I know the pirate grave's um, somewhere up against the church wall, but I'm not sure which side it's on, so we'll try and look at everything and um, we'll, I'm sure we'll come across it. Let's see if it's open first and duck inside out this wind. Well, hey, we're in. Wow, look at that. So I read online that the, there was a church here in the 5th or 6th century, I think it was. And uh, the church you can see here is from the 13th century. Look at that, David Pritchard, 1784. Let's have a little look in here. Oh, it's locked. God, look at these old pews. You can almost smell the history in here. Let's go inside this private one. Oh, the floor doesn't feel very uh, safe in this one. These are the uh, initials of the people that came to the church because you'd have regular people in here all the time, all the same people. The, uh, the landowners would have their own pews and sit in the same place every time. IDM 1769. Must have been quite a big family. Let's have a little sit down. It's actually really cosy. Let's check these out. I wonder what these are. If anyone knows, uh, drop me a comment. Gwen Lewis, 61 years old, 1758. Lewis Morris and his wife. The uh, altar area. Let's try and get in here again. There must be a way in. Oh, yeah.
That's a great view. I wish I had something uh, profound to say while up here. Shall I read something? Exodus? No. What's this? Michael Luntz. I don't know what that is. Mary Williams, wife of David Williams. Just notice that on the back wall, uh, you see that near the door, that's uh, a coffin carrier or a coffin beer, as they call it. It's got to be the original of that, hasn't it? And this uh, stone up here, Memento Mori on it. Alright, let's go back into the wind. Lighting on that one to read it. Eliza, maybe. Well, that wind's picking up. Who do we have here? Griffith. the old railings there, I don't know why it's been taken down. Here we have John Roberts. Too much light chin again on that one. Wonder who that one is. Can't see anything on it. I think it's all uh, worn away through time. Lovely view across there. That's uh, Anglesey. the father of the uh, rather famous chap we're going to see next. Here we have Anthony Armstrong Jones, Lord Snowden, first Earl of Snowden, and he was married to Princess Margaret. Now shamefully, I, I only know about him from watching uh, The Crown on Netflix. Um, he was that um, photographer who had a bit of a shady past, he's a bit of a ladies man. Note to self, read more history, watch less Netflix. Oh, we have a bell. You know what that means. Subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Sorry, I hate doing that, but I do need more subscribers. Anyway, on with the pirate hunt grave. Or the pirate grave hunt, even. Richard Williams. William Jones. 
both with a handshake carving on them. That's an unusual carving, I've not seen that one before. That looks like it's been uh, redone recently. This one's got a bit of a drawing on it. Evan Hughes. Ellen Williams. one might be a bit too far away to make out. Jane, maybe. Sorry about the wind again guys, but kind of expect that from, uh, from Wales. I think this one's a bit too dirty and far away to read. And I think I need one of them extendable selfie sticks so I can get a bit closer to the names. Herbert Jones and Catherine. Now the, the pirate grave looks a bit like these ones in the ground there. I'm not sure it's them. There's a kind of newish area down there. Can't really read that. Catherine Williams. Oh look, that's a correction there. You don't really normally see that. It's quite rare to see. That must be the surname change when they got married. Owen. Don't know if you can pick this up on camera, but there's a coat of arms on that one. And this must be the pirate grave here. It's the same shape as the pictures. Yeah, it is. I don't know if you can see it. There's a. Can you see the face in the middle there? It's got like a triangular pirate's hat on at the top, and then crossbones at the bottom. Probably just a local legend, but it's nice to think that an actual pirate is buried there. I think this is probably locked just to keep the sheep out. It doesn't seem like it's dangerous or anything. See some uh, old graffiti in there. I wonder if Lord Snowden's got his name on it. Let's check these out because I just walked past them last time, didn't I? Mary Ann something. Nice handshake carving there. Into the hands of God, I think that means. That's a shame, that needs sorting out, doesn't it? William Owen. It's all uh, William Owens, Jones, isn't it, up this part of the world? and Hughes as well, a lot of Hugheses up in Wales Dorothy Roberts and Robertses as well all really common names oh, I think we looked at this one before didn't we? yeah we did 
did I remember that one there as well? Robert Jones. It's quite a simple one. Alright, I think it might be time to go before that wind gets any worse. There's a church one last time. Snowdonia in the background. It's amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed another video guys. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. I'm off to see in the car for a bit out this wind.